I've tried a new mascara and in this video I'll tell you everything you need to know about this new e.l.f. mascara so let's roll. The mascara of today's video is going to be the e.l.f. Lash and Roll which is offered in three shades. You have black, brown, and pitch black. The one that I have today is in pitch black. Now this one seems to be exclusive to Target and e.l.f. Cosmetics website if you go the Target route, you can get it for about $6. Some of the claims on this mascara is that it is the ultimate curling mascara, that it has a long lasting formula. They say that it is going to separate, lift, and curl. It has a curved, double-sided silicone brush. They claim that it is smudge and flake resistant. It's also going to be vegan and cruelty free. As far as the application on this one, I felt that it could be a little bit sticky. I just purchased this one not that long ago, and I've been using it, but I've noticed that it can be just a little sticky. As far as using this curved applicator, what I found is to take the upper part of the curve with the longer bristles to kind of apply the product and then roll it, kind of hence that rolling lash, kind of roll it to the side that has the shorter bristles to kind of pull that through the lashes a little bit. This is the mascara that I'm wearing today. As far as separation, I think it did a pretty nice job. Do I think it gives you the most voluminous look? No. But as far as separation goes, I think it does do its job there. Curl. As far as the curl goes, I think that this one is okay. I think this formula is going to have a very minimal look to the lashes. This is not going to be a very wet formula. This is not going to be a formula that just gives you va va voom kind of lashes. This is a very subtle kind of mascara. As far as lift goes, I'm really, I'm not really sure. I have mentioned in previous videos that these outer lashes on my left eye are starting to want to just go straight. They don't want to curve anymore. So if we're testing it with that, then they really did not lift and they really did not curl. But is that fair to this product? I'm not really sure because again, this there's something going on with my lashes on this eye where they've just completely lost the curl and want to fall straight. But if we are looking and using those to test the lift and curl of this mascara, it didn't really do anything for me there. As far as flaking and smudging go, I do not notice any flaking. I don't notice anything falling as I'm applying this. However, I do get smudging a little bit on this lower lash line. Now, I don't put anything on the lower lash line. It's complete transfer. With that said, though, I've had higher end mascaras also do the same thing. I've had a tubing mascara actually leave some smudging, which is a little bit unusual. So again, that could be something with my eyes, with my skin. I don't want to completely disregard it based on that. As far as the applicator goes with this curved kind of wand, it's not the most difficult to use to apply a mascara, but it's also not my favorite. I know that mascaras of late have really become popular for kind of applying them with one portion of the applicator and then pulling it through with a different portion. So this one is kind of following that trend a little bit. I don't think, again, it's the most difficult to use, but I also don't think it's my favorite. In conclusion, I think that this is a mascara I was really wanting to try, and I'm glad I gave it a go, but I don't ever think it's going to be a favorite of mine. It doesn't really have the wet formula that I like, and the applicator isn't really a favorite either. It, again, gives kind of a natural, minimal look to the lashes where I like them to be just a little bit more noticeable, but to each their own on that. Now, if you want to check out some other mascaras that I have used and I've even ranked, then I will go ahead and leave that on the screen for you along with another e.l.f. product review. I hope that you will check these out before you go, and I'll see you in the next video.